Hi everyone. I wanted to do a problem for you guys from section 2.5. Um, in the past few semesters, this has been a problem that people have emailed me about a lot. So I figured I would do a video for you. Um, I've only done these videos two or three times, so please uh, forgive me if it's a little messy. Um, okay, so the problem we're going to do is, let's say the mean amount of time spent shoveling in the blizzard of 2013 is 16 hours. The standard deviation of three. Okay, I know that that was sixteen was not our time. We were definitely above that. But let's just say that was our mean. And let's also assume I should have added this in for what we. Let's assume that this is normal. Okay, <clears throat> which means as soon as we assume that, we know we're thinking we're going to use empirical rule. Okay. <clears throat> I promise I have better handwriting in person. <clears throat> okay. So let's say we wanted to figure out what percentile does a person who shovels 19 hours represent. But the first thing we need to do is translate this into number of standard deviations. Okay, 19 doesn't mean anything to me. What, what means something to me is, well, how many standard deviations is that from 16? All right, so that's our z-score. So the first thing we do is find our z. So we do our 19 minus our mean of 16 all over a standard deviation, which comes out to be 1. So that means we're one standard deviation from the mean. And that's what we want. That's what tells us really if this is unusual or not. So next thing I always tell people to do, especially when I have them you know, on ground for a class, is you want to draw the normal curve. Okay. Anytime you're using it, draw it and so you can picture what you're trying to find. So this is the mean of 16, and we're up here at 19. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the other side of this. I'm going to make it symmetric. Let's say that was 13. Okay. So from the empirical rule, we know that this shaded piece in here, the middle from one standard deviation on either side is 68% of our data since it's normal. Okay. So that's not our percentile. Percentile, remember, is area to the left always. So the percentile is we want all of this whole piece, not just the middle. But 68% is going to get us started. All right, if I take the whole curve, which is 100%, and I take off 68%, okay, I'm left with 32% for, the whole, for these two pieces on the side that are not shaded, which means in here is 16%, and in here is 16%. Okay, so now my percentiles, all of this shaded piece from 19 all the way down to the end. Okay, so if I add up those two values, 68% plus 16, that's going to get me my percentile. And that's going to get me in my percentile of 84. So the person that shovels 19 hours represents the 84th percentile. Okay. So you're going to use that same process for any one of those. It's a matter of drawing a normal curve, figuring out what the empirical rule will tell you, and then filling in the other percentiles and seeing what you need to add up. Okay, so I have one more. Okay, so now let's say what, what percentile does a person who shovels 10 hours represent. Okay, so same thing. Let's see how many, z, how many standard deviations far away this is. So this is below the mean, so it's going to come out negative. So we've got a person that shovels 10 against the mean of 16 over 3. Okay, so we end up getting a negative 2. So that means we're two standard deviations to the left of the mean. Okay, so let's draw it and see where we're at. Okay, so here's our mean of um, 16. We're down here at 10, two standard deviations. So we could just kind of fill in the other side. We don't even need that value. But empirical rule gives me the middle piece. Okay? And the empirical rule says that 95% of my data falls within two standard deviations. Okay, so that's where we're at. Again, that's not my percentile. I want to know what I want to know what is to the left of that. So in this case. My percentile, since I'm the person shoveling 10, my percentile is over here. 
for this one. So, 100 minus that 95 gives me 5% for the rest of my whole graph here, whatever, on the left, all the way left, all the way to the right. Okay, cut that in half, which means this gives me 2.5%, and this gives me 2.5%, which means the percentile for a person that shovels 10, that person is in the 2.5 percentile. It comes out really low. If you think about that, it makes sense. It's, it's a really low percentile because they're quite a bit below the mean. Whereas the last one that we did came out to be, um, I think it was the 84th percentile, and they were above the mean. So it should be, you know, above the 50th percentile. If we were looking for, say, this value over here, the percentile for that, we would have added up the 95 and the 2.5. Okay, but this is down here below the mean. Okay, so hopefully those helps you, uh, that helps you with some of those homework problems in 2.5. Um, if you have any other questions, just shoot me an email. Enjoy your, uh, your snow days. Bye.